Helping sports, the 2024 Summer Olympic Games well underway over in Paris, France. Up to this point, no action from the 242, but that will change as of tomorrow. As Mr. Lamar Taylor will be the first Bahamian set to compete. So he will hit the pool looking to secure a spot in the finals of the men's 100 meter free. Marcellus Hall caught up with Lamar as well as his coach, Toronto McPhee, in this Olympic update. This Olympic update is brought to you by J.S. Johnson Insurance Agents and Brokers, Comfort Suites Paradise Island, and the Gaming Board of the Bahamas. Here's Marcellus Hall. All right, guys, just one more day before Team Bahamas gets into action here at these Olympic Games in Paris, France. Today, the team going through their final practice sessions. Well, at least the swimmers anyways. Lamar Taylor set the dip into the pool in the 100-meter freestyle. Caught up with him at the Olympic Village today following his practice session, got his thoughts on what the competition is going to be like. I'm used to this pressure. I've been uh, racing at other uh, international meets like World Championships, CAC Games, and Commonwealth Games. Usually I'm the first or the last person out the block, so um, being the first out for the Olympics is no pressure for me, really. I just know that when I go out there, I'm going to give it all I got and see what I come back with. Taylor also talked about this being his first Olympic experience and how much he's enjoyed it to this point. Uh, it's definitely a huge experience and a huge accomplishment for me. I remember since I was little, uh, this was my biggest goal and my biggest dream to reach at the Olympic level and represent the Bahamas. And it's crazy that now it's came true. But my experience so far in the village and at the Olympic level has been amazing. Just being able to see all of the different nations and countries and just all of the different athletes is just amazing. Head coach Ravana McPhee also pretty excited about what Lamar has been doing at the practice sessions. He says his swimmer looks ready to go. Lamar Taylor is our first out of the gate uh, tomorrow with uh, the 100 free. Expectations are high for him. Um, we're looking to get into a semifinal. Uh, that's the first step and then uh, looking to get into a final. Um, his preparation has been on, on point. Uh, obviously, it's a mental, um, more than physical right now. Um, you know, the hard work is done, and um, he looks good in the water. And what this means for swimming in the future? Well, McPhee says it certainly bodes well, as all kinds of swimmers now will be looking forward to seeing if they, too, can make it to the Olympic Big Stadium. You know, I was talking to some of my athletes in the 11, 12 age group, 13 and 14 age groups, you know, um, just for him to be on this world stage, you know, shows them that, you know, it can be done. You know, hard work pays off. Um, so he's a role model for these kids. He's an ambassador uh, for the country. And, um, you know, both of them, um, you know, the eyes are on them, right? Every young swimmer um, who is, uh, you know, Goodwill Games, straight up, you know, Commonwealth Games, worlds, you know, looking at them. And this motivates all of them. So there you have it, our first competitor getting ready for action tomorrow here in Paris, France. That'll be at 11.30 a.m. Paris time, which is about way early morning for you guys. So perhaps you may not be up for it. But if you are, of course, you'll be able to watch it yourself. If not, we'll give you all the details as they happen. Reporting from Paris, France, for ZNS Total Sports, I'm Marcellus Hall. This Olympic update is brought to you by J.S. Johnson Insurance Agents and Brokers, Comfort Suites Paradise Island, and the Gaming Board of the Bahamas. Hi there, I'm Corval Pfeiffer. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things said and asked.